A Pakistani general's early retirement has set the social media in the country abuzz with conspiracy theories. Hello and welcome to The Print. My name is Dev Datta and to understand more on why an influential general's early retirement has set the internet rife with conspiracy theories, let's go to Pakistan. While there is no official confirmation, many independent journalists suggest he was compelled into retirement, was directed to report to the general headquarters in Rawalpindi on April 4th. He did not go there. He resigned and left command on April 2nd without formal farewells and reportedly embarked on a journey for Umrah in Saudi Arabia. His resignation is now being seen as a forced one because of his current differences with the current chief of army staff, Asim Munir. Safdar's resignation, citing personal reasons, is being seen as an unofficial sacking due to the general's comment on the involvement of the Pakistan army in the election rigging. He made these comments at the Corps Commander Conference of 5th March 2024. While newspapers and dailies have not reported on the event yet, journalist and convener of Pakistan Democracy Forum, Heather Mehdi claimed to be the first to report on this and posted on X calling for Muni's resignation. He said, and I quote, if you don't do your constitutional duty to arrest Asim Munir and those senior generals who have violated Pakistan's law and constitution, there will be no Pakistan. Shaheen Sehbai, an independent journalist in a video on Twitter, said that the general was removed after he had asked Asim Munir to not let his personal differences with Imran Khan impact the army. He said, and I quote, he stood up against him and therefore had to resign. He was the only one. If only a few others who hold the same views had the courage to stand up, perhaps Munir would have been ousted. Now the internet was quick to react. One user tweeted against the resignation calling Asim Munir a petrified and paranoid super king who removed a conscientious general for speaking up. But controversies are not something that are new to this general. Back in January 2021, the general had quoted controversy after he had made a statement claiming that he had been deployed by China to crush the growing Balochistan movement in Pakistan. The lieutenant general was among the few who had been promoted to the ranks of the general in the 2022 controversial military reshuffle ahead of the end of Bajwa's tenure. According to senior journalist Asad Ali Tour, Safdar was a key general who was part of the central command of the Mangla Corps, which is also a strike corps with the best army divisions, making Safdar an important general. He was also in line to become the next chief of army staff if Asim Munir was not granted an extension. He said, and I quote, his resignation is not a simple incident and is not easily digestible. His thinking is seen to not have been in alignment with Munir's and perhaps that is why he was sidelined and had to resign. As of now, there hasn't been any announcement regarding a successor for this crucial offensive command position within the Pakistani army. The circumstances behind the removal, whether forced or not, remains contentious. However, strategists add that the delay in appointing a replacement for the Mangla post implies that the general Asim Munir may still be grappling with unresolved tensions among generals in the Pakistan army.